Hello today we will explain you a horror, thriller movie named Wrong Turn 3. Before we begin don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. The movie begins and four college students on a rafting trip in West Virginia are shown. They all were camping there as well. Trey was missing among the friends, so Alex leaves to look for him. Sophie and Brent are left behind on their own. An incoming arrow pierces them. They are still unaware of the situation when another arrow pierces Sophie's eye and she dies on the spot. Brent runs away after seeing it. At the same moment, Alex arrives, and Three Finger is eating Sophie's eye. She hides herself after seeing him. Meanwhile, Trey arrives, carrying timber. Three Fingers attacks him to save his life. He flees to the forest, but Three Finger also murders him. Brett is entrapped as well and dies. Alex is now the sole survivor among the friends. Following that, the West Virginia prison is shown, where some inmates were to be shifted to another facility. Three police officers were assigned for this job. There were a total of five prisoners, and one of them was Chavez, the criminal organization's leader, and it was all being done due to him. Their transferring procedure was scheduled for two days later. However, police are aware that the Chavez gang is capable of hijacking a bus on the way, and they will forcefully release Chavez. As a result, they plan to change their route on an urgent basis, and their new route was the dangerous paper mill road. They start their journey after loading all of the prisoners into the bus. They stop at a police station along the way and meet Sheriff Carl and Deputy Lane. In next scene, Three Toes is shown who is the nephew to Three Finger, and it was the same child from the previous movie who was given food by Three Finger. He is still too young, but he is trying to set up a trap. The trap falls over him and he gets trapped, so Three Finger assists him in getting out. After setting the trap, they both leave. On the other hand, the police officers start their journey again after taking a break at the police station. As they drive along the paper mill road, a truck driven by Three Finger begins to follow them. He punctures the truck wheels using barbed wire. As a result, the truck has drifted off the road, losing control. As he steps off the truck, Three Finger observes them but does not attack. The prisoner is then led outside by a police officer. But, seeing an opportunity, Chavez snatches the gun from him. Prislow points his gun at Chavez as from behind. But a knife pierces his neck before he can act, and he died on the spot. All prisoners believe it is a plot set up by Chavez gang members. However, a volley of arrows has been launched against Chavez. Due to attack on Chavez, they come to know it's not a plot set by Chavez gang members. Chavez tells Nate to unchain everyone's handcuffs. Nate responds, the key is still in the bus, and the bus was set to fire, and it could blow up at any time. Walter, a police officer, is also in the bus, and when Nate goes to the bus to get the keys, he brings Walter out as well. Nate's keys had been destroyed. Chavez, on the other hand, does not kill him because he believes Nate is the only person who can get them out of the forest. Then they all proceed, and a girl attacks Nate as she emerges from the bushes. This girl was none other than Alex. She informs them that there is a mutant who eats people after killing them. However, no one was taking her seriously and she also informs them about her rafting trip. Chavez demands that she should take them to her destination. His attitude was incredibly rude. She takes them there. On the way, they come across an upside-down bus. Its back door was also locked. Chavez sends Nate to investigate, where he discovers his gun and the key. He hands the gun over to Walter. Then, while checking the truck, they discover a large sum of money. Everyone is surprised to find this money, and Chavez advises them to leave with two bags each. Each one can hold two bags, but Walter couldn't because he was injured. However, Chavez forces him to lift the bags, and Walter points his gun at Chavez, but the gun is not loaded, but Chavez doesn't forgive him for his act and shoots him in head. Nate couldn't help because he was under pressure. Then Chavez orders everyone to proceed, and Alex was first because she was in charge. She steps on a trap while walking, but Nate saves her. It was the trap set up by Three Toes who was hiding there as well. He comes outside and attacks them. Chavez, on the other hand, shoots him down. However, Alex informs them that it is not that mutant. Then Chavez has an idea and he proceeds, by leaving a hint for Three Finger. As he approaches, Three Finger discovers the fixed head of Three Toes on a wooden stick. When he sees it, he goes insane. Moving forward, they come across a hanging thing which Chavez inspects, but Willie knows it's a set trap for them. He saves Chavez's life by pushing him, but he has to pay for it, and he loses his life as a result, and Chavez rewards him by cutting his legs. Willie is separated from chains as a result of this. They start moving quickly now. Deputy Lane, on the other hand, began collecting information about four missing students two days ago, and Sheriff had yet to receive a single phone call from Nate. As a result, he is concerned, and he believes that their bus has been hijacked, so he goes looking for them, while Lane looks for college students. They arrive at an old cabin. They cut their chains with the tools they found there. Moving forward, they notice Three Fingers' truck, 
which was a trap set for them that they were aware of. Despite this, Chavez forcibly sends Crawford there. Three Finger drives the truck, trapping Crawford in the barbed wire as Crawford moves to the truck. And while driving on the road, he drags Crawford along at full speed, and he drags him so violently that Crawford dies. Floyd, on the other hand, attacks Chavez as he gets a chance. Alex and Nate then flee from the scene, while Chavez hits Floyd near to death. Another prisoner and Chavez continue their journey, and Sheriff communicates all the information after reaching the bus spot. He then goes into the forest in search of Nate, taking his dog with him. Brandon suggests to Chavez that they look for Nate while leaving the money behind. Chavez agrees with him and temporarily leaves money behind. Nate is finally found. Chavez is about to kill him, but Nate tells him about a nearby watchtower that he can contact. Chavez takes him there, giving him one last chance. As they approach the watchtower, it has been burned to ashes, and the three mutant brothers set fire to it. Chavez intends to shoot Nate as he finds nothing there, but Sheriff's dog attacks him. Sheriff himself arrives there as well, but Three Finger, who is sitting on a tree, throws a wooden piece from there, which thrusts into Sheriff's mouth, piercing him. Chavez points the gun at Nate stealing it from Sheriff. Then he returns to reclaim his money. Floyd is trying to flee with all of the money, but Chavez hears him, and he approaches Floyd. But Three Finger burns him by throwing a Molotov cocktail at him, and all the money is gone. They make an attempt to flee. However, Three Finger's truck obstructs them once more. Chavez now throws Alex in front of the truck, and he takes Alex back with him. Nate attempts to pursue her for her safety but is immediately caught by Chavez. Brandon hits him senselessly as Chavez prepares to shoot Nate, and they both go their separate ways, leaving him behind. Three Finger ties Alex up in his house. We also see the body of Deputy Lane, who was previously killed by Three Finger. Brandon tries to run away from there. Meanwhile, Chavez arrives and beats him out. Three Finger gets there as he begins to move forward. They have a fatal fight. Chavez distorts Three Finger's face while violently beating him, and his face has become more distorted, making him unrecognizable. However, Three Finger eventually triumphs over Chavez. He eats Chavez's brain and celebrates his victory by opening his skull. Nate discovers Sheriff's dog, which leads him to Alex. He frees Alex, and they are about to leave when Three Fingers attacks them. Three Finger is about to kill Nate when Alex kills him by piercing the wooden piece on which Three Toe's head was fixed, and they both flee in his truck. However, Three Finger is still alive. He approaches their truck again and tries to climb inside. He catches Nate, and the truck crashes with a tree. The truck then catches fire. Meanwhile, Brandon takes both of them outside and saves them. Three Finger captures Nate once again, but Nate uses his own tool and attacks him. He also hits him on the truck. Three Finger was burned as a result of the truck explosion. Nate lets Brandon go after releasing him. After a while, the police force arrives. Nate and Alex have survived, but Nate returns there for the sake of money. He is, however, killed by Brandon whom Nate released the other night. Brandon tries to take the money, but he is killed by another mutant who arrives there. Nobody had any idea who that mutant was. To this day, it remains a mystery. This is how the movie ends. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more.